I have gone through the Bible, but I've not found anything around soulmate. Mm -hmm. However, uh, what I could equate it to, it's a relationship between uh, a man and a woman, mm -hmm. either that is leading to marriage mm -hmm. or a relationship that a marriage relationship. Mm -hmm. Date with your eyes open. Mm -hmm. Do not be moved by lust, by emotions. If you need, mm -hmm. if you need spectacle, please put them on. Exactly. <laughs> Gone are the times when men were only the providers. Hi everyone, how are you doing? My name is Martha and I'm so glad to be with you today. This is Decoding the Process. We are here to talk about relationships and our aim is always to help you do the, these things right because we know there are so many ideas outside here. People have pressure to settle in for what people are saying really but there's always principles for anything to succeed. So today we want to talk about you know how to do relationships right. We really want to understand how do we relate well with the other partner and get to understand how to do it in the process of dating and in turn getting to courtship and of course getting to marriage in the end. But before we get to that, we really want to know who our guest is today. Um, Karibu sana madam, we have a very beautiful guest on set today. Manze, you better watch to the end. So, welcome. Thank you. Thank you mother for having me. Yeah, maybe my, can you introduce my name? My name is Bill Mugambi. Okay. Uh, I'm married to Dr. Mugambi mm -hmm. and blessed with two boys. Mm -hmm. And um, I am one person who is very, very passionate about relationship and marriage. Mm -hmm. And therefore, I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity mm -hmm. to be here to discuss the topic on relationship. Thank you very much, madam. We are so glad to actually have you on board. And we know she's an experienced woman. Having to hear that she's married and she has two boys, surely the boys you better listen. So <laughs> thank you for joining us. We are very humbled to have you on set today. So we want to delve deeper into what we want to discuss. And uh, uh, as we've mentioned, what to do to know how to do relationships. Right. And we want to first start with one thing. What is the original design for God for relationships according to the nature of how God set it and how he expects it to be? The original design. Okay, I can say that um, God's original design concerning marriage, uh, mm -hmm. a relationship, and maybe because for me I look at it as a relationship that leads mm -hmm. to marriage, mm -hmm. I would say that uh, it was divine. Mm -hmm in that when you look at the word of God and what the word of God says about, uh, especially I'll refer us to the book of Genesis in chapter two, where the Bible says that, and God found it not good. Mm -hmm. he, when he created everything else, he created Adam, he felt because that is the first marriage mm -hmm. that we learn of according to the, to the word of God, yeah. is that he said it is not good for the first time that God said it is not good. Mm -hmm. Meaning, Adam was there, but he was not complete until mm -hmm. there was someone who God now, that if that God brought in his life mm -hmm. to make, the, to, for him to say this looks good. Mm -hmm. Therefore, the will of God or the perspective of God or the design of God as far as relationship are concerned. Number one is divine. Mm -hmm. Number two, still according to the word of God, I just refer to the word of God because our discussion of this around that, mm -hmm. is that the Bible uh, uh, equates marriage to the church. Mm -hmm. We find where uh, in the book of Ephesians where God is bringing the issue of uh, the groom, the church being the groom, mm -hmm. and him, the, his people being the bride. Mm -hmm. Therefore, he expects in the same, he compares a marriage where the, 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 there is a man who is the crew and the, the, the wife, mm -hmm. and he intends them to be one. Therefore, he compares that relationship to the relationship of the, of the church, mm -hmm. meaning that his, his, his intentions, is, they are good for us in terms of relationship, mm -hmm. and for me, it's relationship that leads to marriage. Mm -hmm. Therefore, that is the design of God concerning marriage, that the two comes together and become one thing, mm -hmm. And him being the creator or the initiator of the relationships in marriage that tells us that whatever he forms is good. Therefore, it's designed for this relationship, is good, is divine, and it's something that should last. Something else maybe I would mention about the design mm -hmm. of God is that, um, and I know this, a way the world uh, has defined it or the society has defined it, but the word of God expects our relationship where we are relating, there is a man and a woman. Mm -hmm. 
Therefore, we have not seen in the world of God where God intended what we are having currently. You are having a relationship between a man and another man, a woman and another woman. Therefore, it is so clearly defined in his word that it should be between a woman and a man. And when these two comes together, they become flesh, comparing it to how he relates himself as the groom to the church. Mm -hmm. So what you're trying to say is actually a standard for relationship. Exactly. A God set. Yes. Which is very, um, I love what you're saying because people think they can do relationships anyhow. Yeah. You know, I wonder why people do um, understand financial principles for them to have finances, business principles and forget that even relationships have their principles. Because everything works on the formation mm -hmm. of principles. And I really love what you're saying, and uh, and uh, I I cannot even um um you know emphasize more because it's true. God had a certain order of how mm. things should be done, sure. and He even showed it with the first ordained relationship. So um sure. in accordance to that, and um, there's one thing that the guys out here have mentioned time and again, they are the 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 you know the term soulmate. Because even as we think about the God's, uh, the Lord's design in terms of relationship, there is one thing people talk about soulmate. Is there such thing as a soulmate? Okay, for me, I believe there is nothing like soulmate, especially when you refer to the, the word of God, which mm -hmm. is the guiding. Because clearly, um, the first or whoever designed marriage or relationships that leads to marriage, it is God Himself. Mm -hmm. And therefore, I like what you're saying, that we have principles around everything else, but we fail to go back to the other. Yeah. So if you have an issue around, maybe you have a fridge, for example, and maybe let's say it's from LG, mm -hmm. should you have a problem, you go back to the other, who is the person who came as what the organization that mm -hmm. came up. But really, do we go back to the other of this relationship to know the intentions? Mm -hmm. For me, I have gone through the Bible, but I've not found anything around solid. Mm -hmm. However, uh, what I could equate it to, it's a relationship between uh, a man and a woman, mm -hmm. either that is leading to marriage mm -hmm. or a relationship, that a marriage relationship. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I wouldn't really say there's someone who is formed mm -hmm. for mother or someone formed for Mary. Mm -hmm. There is someone that I will find because the Bible says, whoever finds a good wife. Mm -hmm. But we have not found, and the reason why I don't also believe on soulmate, you'll find that when uh, when someone is in a relationship, even marriage with, with his wife, and maybe one spouse passes on, that person, the Bible allows them, as long as it's dead, mm -hmm. to go ahead and okay. marry if it is in their comfort. Mm -hmm. Meaning then, if you said that was the soulmate, mm -hmm. that the person God designed only that person for this person, mm -hmm. then they're not allowed to go ahead that and remarry. <laughs> yeah. 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 So I agree. Somehow, I mean, what matters is the persona in the person. Exactly. Because God um, um, really has so many. As long as we are looking to God, then we somehow are similarly unique. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> we are similar because we have the same qualities, mm -hmm. but we are applying the qualities differently in our unique areas and lives because we are different in all you know matters and terms. Sure. Mm -hmm. So basically anyone can actually be a potential spouse anyone can be a potential spouse mm -hmm. it's you now to define mm -hmm. what are you what are the parameters what are you looking at mm -hmm. because one thing i believe is even in our singlehood mm -hmm. even before i get to a relationship i should be able to define mm -hmm. what is that that i'm looking out for mm -hmm. in, a, in when i get into a relationship mm -hmm. and when i'm able to define that then when, even as if I'm a lady, even as men come around, or if it's a man, you don't just go looking for any other lady. Mm -hmm. You know what I, what is, how have you set your bar? How high is your bar? Mm -hmm. What are the values? What are things that you stand for? Because those then define someone who is compatible to you. And that then, if it, it can define mother, it can define Mary, but when you compare at, you look at those people closely, and I'm sure you've had this conversation around that. Maybe a guy is, uh, is seeing out maybe two or three ladies. Mm -hmm. He's not, he's not, the relationship has not maybe 
uh, gone past. He's not maybe proposed or he's not said his intentions because there are things maybe someone is comparing or the same case even to us women. Mm -hmm. Could be there's a man here who is pursuing you or pursuing a lady and a lady is a point, at a point of making a decision. Mm -hmm. Meaning there are things that are critical to me that I'm looking out for in this person to get to that level of comfort of saying, yes, I think mother is ideal for me. Therefore, yes, we are all similar, but there are critical areas of life that I want to define and that I will look out for a spouse for me to settle on someone. Wow, thank you. Thank you. So far, so good. And guys, I told you today it's all about beauty and brains. I mean, spilling wisdom at the same time. And uh, it's, a, it's a good encouragement, especially to our young ladies, mm -hmm. to look good and to also look good at the head. Because they, they, they actually do not mean that it first comes emotional, the connection, but the next thing is inter you know, the intellectual kind of connection. Yeah, sure. You need to sharpen your mind for even your man to get attracted to you. And yeah. we have that right here on studio today. And even before we go on to the next things we need to discuss, we are giving you a short break to think about the few things we have put on the table and to readjust the mindset to some things she has mentioned in terms of God's design and the matters of, soul, uh, of the soulmate. Thank you very much. We will be right back. Woman, you may not have clarity on your purpose now, but it gets clearer along the journey. And that is why we bring you the Deborah Generation Show, where we will be redefining our position in the journey of womanhood. Join me on Wema TV's YouTube channel as we learn and unlearn from the different portraits of biblical women and get inspired by amazing real life experiences from the guests that we'll be having on this show. See you then. Welcome back guys. We are back with more and of course much better at this second part of the segment. We have been here with Mrs. Mugambi aka Madame Mary and we are so glad to have her because she has been through what we are just about to discuss this moment so what we're delving into at this segment is how to choose the right partner what are the things to actually consider because um you've been there you know what matters and of course now that you're married you know what matters more because <laughs> you actually know what is needed when you are there right yeah so uh tell us more about it tell us what we need to consider the most important things that people overlook especially young people and of course now uh, you can also tell us how you chose you, 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 Nini. Uh, yes. <laughs> Take this over. Thank you. Thank you, Mother. And yes. um, I would just before maybe I, I, I get into some of the qualities, mm -hmm. what should you look out? Mm -hmm. When looking out for a life partner, I would want to very briefly talk about uh, the issue of appreciating yourself mm. as a single person. Mm -hmm. Because you cannot take or you cannot give that which you don't have. Sure. Therefore, you will find most of the time, uh, young people are getting into relationships, mm -hmm. they are getting into marriages without really taking a step back mm -hmm. and asking themselves critical questions mm -hmm. that informs the kind of institution they are going to form. Mm -hmm. Therefore, number one, I believe in working on yourself first mm -hmm. before even you get into a relationship. Yeah. You work on yourself in the aspect all around. Uh, number one, like physically, mm. ensure you look nice, ensure you look presentable, mm -hmm. ensure you're someone who someone would be proud of mm -hmm. for uh, as a husband or mm -hmm. as a wife. Mm -hmm. um, work on yourself mentally, mm -hmm. work on yourself emotionally. Mm -hmm. There are people who have been through relationship and they are hurt. Mm -hmm. And out of that, if they rush into another relationship without working on that, they are carrying baggages into this other relationship mm -hmm. or into marriage. So you have to work whole, or I mean, you have to work on yourself mm -hmm. to a point of getting comfortable in the place that you are, that you are able to accommodate someone else. Therefore, even before you get into a relationship, mm -hmm. kindly sit down and ask yourself, what is the purpose mm -hmm. for this relationship? Mm -hmm. I know sometimes rarely do people ask that yeah. question. Mm. What is the purpose? What why is the goal? What is together? the end? Why are we coming together? It's just about love. Exactly. Mm. Is it about love? Is it about passing time? Mm. Is it about dating? Is it because I was dropped by that guy and mm. I feel lonely? I need someone to pass time with. The first reason is what is the purpose? Mm. 
mm. of this relationship after working on yourself. Mm. Because once you work on yourself and you're ready, then ask yourself, yes, I'm ready for a relationship. Mm -hmm. But where is this relationship leading to? Mm -hmm. what, are, what, is, what are my objectives? What do I want to achieve mm -hmm. as I get into this relationship? Then as you work on yourself, you are able to also benchmark the kind of person you're looking at. And that is what takes us to the qualities. Mm -hmm. And especially now that our topic or our theme is hankered of the word of God and the design of God for a relationship or a mm -hmm. marriage. Of course, number one is you have to be right with God, mm -hmm. meaning you're someone whose your intention to build this relationship or this marriage is founded on the word of God. Mm -hmm. Even as you work on yourself, work on the Christian bit of it. If you believe, and I want these, I'm undressing believers because I know, uh, and by saying I'm undressing believers, I know also there are people in relationship and yeah. they're not believers mm -hmm. or they belong to other faiths. Mm -hmm. So I would say that uh, uh, number one is having that personalized relationship with God that mm -hmm. enables you to set standards or to look out for qualities according to the word of God. Because you remember we started by saying the marriage was the idea of God. It was the design of God. If it was the design of God, then whatever I'm looking out for, mm -hmm. I'm sure it be looking out for according to what the word of God expects me to do. Mm -hmm. Some of the qualities maybe to look out for, and I keep on telling young people, when you're dating, date with your eyes open. Sure, sure. Date with your eyes open. Mm. Do not be moved by lust, by emotions. If you need, mm. if you need spectacles, please put them on. Exactly. <laughs> uh, marriage, relationship and marriage, it's not all about, uh, it's not all about the emotions, mm. what I feel now. Mm. Because what I feel now, may not be what I will be feeling five years mm. later in marriage. So number one, I would talk about look for someone. If you are a believer, look for someone mm -hmm. who believes also, who shares your faith. Mm -hmm. Shares your faith, not to say that if I go to this denomination, they should be, belong to the same denomination, mm -hmm. no. They, because the word of God is the basic principle. Mm -hmm. but whatever you believe, they believe in. Because then, someone that doesn't believe in, there comes in a, a conflict. Yes. There comes in a conflict. Yes. Therefore, agree on faith matters. Number two, look for someone who is compatible to you. Mm. That's why I say, when you're dating or when you're in a relationship that is going to lead you to marriage, do it with your eyes open. Mm -hmm. Do not be, uh, do not, do not be deceived by what I'm feeling currently. I feel I love, I love that person. Mm -hmm. Of course, the other thing is there should be chemistry. Mm -hmm. You can't just walk to someone's life that you have no feelings for. Mm -hmm. You don't feel that attraction, that natural yeah. attraction. The natural attraction comes, then you put emotions down. Mm. Because you feel you're so excited about mother. This mm -hmm. guy is so excited about mother. Mother is excited about this guy. Mm. But sit back and ask yourself, apart from being excited, these emotions of love that I'm feeling, I cannot build a marriage or a relationship out of emotions. Mm -hmm. Put emotions down and be real. Mm. Look at the values that this person has. Mm. Number one being someone who can be trusted. Yes. You want to get a re into a relationship that leans to marriage with someone you can trust. Mm. Not someone that you police around, because yeah, for, sure, for sure, unless someone surrenders, and I keep on saying to the young people, mm -hmm. unless a man, a woman is able to submit to God, mm -hmm. they may never submit to you. Sure. They may never submit to you. So if someone is trustworthy, if someone is, uh, is, uh, uh, is someone you can trust, whether you're there or not, it's a key factor to mm -hmm. consider, or it's one of the qualities to consider when getting into a relationship. Mm -hmm. Number two, look at the background of this person. Mm -hmm. When I talk about the background, I'm not talking about the, the, how the family looks. Mm -hmm. Because you're not getting married to the family, but you're getting married to the person. Yes. What do they believe or mm -hmm. conform to, to as far as their background is concerned? Mm -hmm. Because you'll find people, men who are getting married, but their mommy's boys. True. Even into mm. marriage, mm. someone when you're discussing something or in a relationship, let me ask mommy, let me ask daddy. Mm. It is not bad to consult, yes. but they should have who is running the family? Yes. Who is running the relationship? Exactly. Yeah? You're yeah. planning to do something as a couple. Mm. And the first thing they tell you, let me ask my mommy. So it sh they should also be able to detach because the word of God says, a man shall leave mm. his family and be attached or be joined to his wife and mm. the two becomes one. Mm -hmm. Meaning it's, 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 something, uh, it's something that is very important mm -hmm. in learning what he conforms to as far as his background is concerned. Mm. The people who are from 
very funny backgrounds, but them as individuals, the values they hold is mm. something you can subscribe to yes. and build a family mm. together. As long as you can work together. That means you can work together. Mm -hmm. Number the other thing is commitment. Mm. Someone needs to be committed, both ladies and gents. Mm -hmm. We need to have commitment to the relationship mm -hmm. or to the uh, to the to the to the marriage, mm -hmm. because you find there are people in relationship, but the level of commitment is not there. Is it is not there. Mm. It's one sided. Yes, you are available. They are not available. It's very very hard. Yeah, you are available. Mm. They are not available. We want to do this. Uh, uh, the same interest that you expect them to have, mm. it's not there. Therefore, uh, someone who is committed to the relationship is one of the qualities that mm. you need to just don't follow anyone for the sake of follow, mm. following. The other thing is someone who is, especially this to the men, mm. someone who is able to defend or to safeguard the relationship, yes. to give that security. Mm to the relationship. You can fight for your relationship. Mm. But when third parties come in, and, uh, and you find that from the relationship, when third parties come in and you're left on your own, what does that tell you? If that relationship progresses mm. to marriage, mm -hmm. then those are red flags. Yes. That tells you you are on your own. Yeah. Because we have areas where even in laws come again, is even the wife, mm. if the husband is not there for that person. And you know you in that family because of this man. Mm. So you should look out for someone who offers you security, especially mm. for the women. Mm -hmm. And even vice versa, even to, to the, the ladies, you mm. shouldn't be able to take a gun for your spouse. Mm -hmm. I mean, you shouldn't be able to take a bullet yes. for your spouse. I mean, this, this person is literally the kind of person who is closest to you. Yeah. You're telling them you've given them your life and yeah. you can't even support them. Yeah. It's, it's, it's quite... Um, something I have never begun to understand. Because I chose this woman, he, she chose me, and I'm still defending people who are not in my life. Yes, exactly. It's, it's, not, exactly. it's not a good thing at all. Exactly. Mm -hmm. The other thing you should look out for, and that's what I'm saying, as you do this, do with your eyes open. Mm. Look for someone, or you uh, um, begin to be in a relationship with someone who is doing something about life, mm. financially. Yeah. Because you'll get into a family. Mm. You will not eat love. Yes. There are bills to pay. Mm. There, are, there, are, there, are, there, are, there are expenses to meet. Mm. Life Even has to the move the marriage on. itself is costly. I mean, I need to call you during the day, so. I need mm. Life, exactly. <laughs> yes. We have to engage. Even yes. to come to where you are, I need mm. money. Yes. Even for us to converse, even to chat, I need battles. Mm. I need, uh, I, 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 there is, life is all about mm. paying bills, meeting costs. Therefore, look out for someone also who is hand-working. Mm -hmm. Not to define it in this, or the way the world does it find it, because you find especially a relationship or marriages have been so commercialized mm -hmm. that I want to get into a relationship, even if it's our own Duse, as mm -hmm. long as he has money. Mm -hmm. It's not about that. It's about someone who has found something to do. Mm -hmm. And this one, it is for both sided. Mm -hmm. Because gone are the times, when men were only the providers, of mm. course they, 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 they are called to be the hand of the family and the providers. Mm -hmm. But the times keep changing. Mm -hmm. We're in the 21st century, where you cannot sit back as a woman for a mm. man to provide for you. Yeah. So therefore we should be doing something. Mm. Someone could be not having a job, I mm. know, but you can see the deliberate effort mm. to look for something to do, mm. to put food on the table. Mm. Therefore do not... Uh, get married to someone who is lazing around. There's mm. nothing they have to do. Maybe it's you who is one sided provision where there is no consensus. And you find with that, there is, it comes to a point where there is friction mm. in marriage because yes. you keep feeling like I am giving so much into this relationship, mm -hmm. or I'm giving this into this marriage, and mm. this person is doing nothing. Mm. So as you look out, it's not to say look for be a gold digger, mm. but look for, out for someone who is doing something mm -hmm. such that you are able to manage life expenses yeah. together. It's it's important. It's yeah. Important. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The other thing is to someone who is who, who you can ha call, who you can have a friend in. Mm -hmm. I keep on saying, sometimes in marriage there is no love. Love mm -hmm. is not there. The Issues high. come. The, mm -hmm. the emotional mm -hmm. uh, things that uh, you feel attracted to initially. The, mm -hmm. the emotional feelings that sometimes they are not sustainable throughout. Mm -hmm. But find someone you can 
find a friend in. Yeah. Because when love is not there, when issues of life come that are weighing you down, the friendship will keep you going. Yes, yes. The friendship will mm -hmm. keep you going. Mm -hmm. Therefore, find someone that you can relate easily, someone you can open up, you can have open communication mm -hmm. with, someone you can get easy with. You can have fun. You can have fun. Is fun. Yeah, because marriage people have, 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 have a tendency of equating marriage into some boring institution. And very serious because it is work. It is work. <laughs> it is work, but you can have fun. You can have fun. You can have fun mm. within the same institution. Mm. Therefore, for the young people, I urge them, as you date, as you relate to one's marriage, mm. do it with your eyes open. Mm. Because one doesn't, you know, especially during relationship to one's marriage, you appear in your best behavior. Yeah. You appear in the best attire. Mm. You appear with the best character. Mm -hmm. But as you date, keep on digging to mm. know this person. Who are they? So that as you get into marriage, mm. then you're getting into marriage with someone who equates to your values. Mm. Wow. I mean, that has been a lot. I have been listening at the Ongeza Sana because this is true. There's so many things we overlook and even as we have been mentioning that um, you, you might be so in love you forget to really look into who you're dating, which is very important. Regarding what she has mentioned from compatibility to commitment to chemistry to hard work to the purpose of the relationship. There's so much she has mentioned that you realize will make so much sense when you get to the other side of the relationship because that marriage needs to have purpose. You can't just be, like you're saying, love cannot be the identity of your relationship throughout. Sure, sure. You are not just saying you just be having fun throughout. Yeah. There's so much into marriage that you should look into different qualities of the person if they are balanced enough yeah. to get to the next stage of sure, this relationship. Sure, sure. So I wanted to just, um, in a few words, just tell these young people the most important thing you would want them to know about relationships before we conclude. Um, I will want them to prepare themselves. Mm -hmm. and quickly, mm -hmm. and quickly, mm -hmm. self-awareness first, because before you start, you can never be made complete by anyone. Yes. You first become complete, then you accommodate another complete mm -hmm. being into your life. Therefore, prepare the time for your single world, take it to prepare yourself and quickly, mm -hmm. financially, emotionally, be that person who is stable and complete. Mm -hmm. So that as you look for someone, you're not looking for them to complete you. Mm -hmm. You're looking for them so that you two complete beings can come together with similar values. Compatibility is one of the things that I would want mm -hmm. to encourage young people to look out for mm -hmm. in all aspects. Mm -hmm. Because if you are all rounded in terms of compatibility, you are, you, you, you are compatible to a larger extent. Mm -hmm. Then that tells you that this is someone you are able to gel with, your values relate to, I mean, whatever you stand for is what they stand for. Yes. Whatever you, you give focus or value to is what they give focus for. Mm -hmm. So self-preparation, self-awareness, and get to, to get someone who you're compatible with, mm -hmm. as of course not downplaying mm -hmm. what the guidelines of the Word of God have to be mm -hmm. for that relationship or marriage to work. Wow. Guys, there you have it. That is what you needed to hear. And of course, a lot of wisdom from somebody who can tell you that these things are very important. Mm. And we hope that you put them into practice and most importantly, have the strength to apply them in your life. Because some of the times we allow emotions to take over some mm. things we need to, you know, intentionally look into. Mm. When we realize emotions will come and run you over and again, you will need to be intentional with the person. So focus on what is important. May God also help you because mm. he is the ultimate um, um, you know, referral point because he knows your future. He knows the other individual's future and he knows who and what is best for you. Sure. Thank you very much for joining us today. Of course, we are always very grateful for you having been part of us and we always keep on asking for you to converse with us. Of course, comment down below and keep on. You can add on to what has been said and you can even ask the questions we need to hear so we can answer them in the coming session. Otherwise, may you have a blessed evening. See you next Tuesday. <laughs>